this dude is an absolute marauder, high-level wrestler, and when he is at his suffocating best, punishing UFC fighters on the canvas, looks like he might be able to make a real concerted world title run, at least to me. You know, not many guys can use that skill set almost singularly. We saw how beat the Mega Metal early in his career, essentially just wrestle and dominate people. And that is the approach that this young man is taking. He is so good at getting in your face and making you work. You gotta be preemptive. You cannot allow him to grab your leg. If you get your leg, you're going down. You gotta be moving, you gotta stay on your feet. Because this guy, if you get your leg, he's like a dog on a bone. And it's that single leg, a thing of beauty. And he basically guaranteed a finish here tonight. Certainly believes the takedown is gonna be there. And we will not be surprised if he goes for one. But John, is that in the matchup or is that in his belief in his skill set that he's gonna finish this fight? Unreal. So here is Sean Strickland. He is one of one, the inimitable pride of Corona, California, training under Extreme Couture's banner here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Great teammate, outstanding boxer. He lives in the gym. And you're probably not going to outpace this guy over 25 minutes. So it, it can be a little bit of a mind-bending exercise, not just in training, but also in the fight itself. Sean Strickland is not going away. Just ask Israel Adesanya how that stylistic matchup went for him. Now we'll see how Strickland can fare here tonight and if he can get back to the precipice as the UFC middleweight champion. for this middleweight fight. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, he will handle the action inside the octagon. All right, we get another look tonight at the UFC middleweight contender, Sean Strickland. Gotta love the attitude. I mean, this man has an edge, there's no doubt about it, and not afraid to trash talk a little bit while the fight is going on, but rest assured, he has been a picture of focus this week. He understands the magnitude of this stylistic challenge, and he believes that if he can emerge victorious, he will be next in line for the middleweight title. First takedown attack for the wrestler here, and he's able to get the more well-rounded fighter to the ground. So the striker gets a little bit off balance and pays the ultimate price. But we know this is where this guy wants to be. Now, his opponent is a very good grappler, but this is his wheelhouse. This is where he makes his money, and if he's on the ground on top, he is exactly where he wants to be. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strickland's in half guard. Big ground and pound. Great job landing the strike from his back. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely loved. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now, and they're popping for it. They're excited. Nice transition. Good work from the top here by Nickel. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Going right in the mouth. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is studding off the mat. Oh, 
This is where he wants to be. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Nichols attempting a rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Making all these shots count. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Nichols back at half guard, very comfortable here. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. It looks like he's trying to get an arm triangle, but he's got to get to the opposite side, get his chest to the mat, and find that finish. Mark. That's tight. Oh, he got out! He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards his opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. Got to be careful here. Beautiful ground strikes landed. Mm, that was nice. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why. It's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Nickel. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, he's got his back now. Here they can choke. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Beautiful submission defense by this guy. And now he reverses position. Wow. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his ground and pound. Build a base, posture up. Oh, big shots raining down. Ref will help you here. Take a guy out of pump. They will not take a guy off of your back. Oh, you have to put him out of his position. Five minutes in the books. Listen. I need you to stay a little bit more active, a little bit more movement. Keep that head moving. You need you to get behind that jab and start. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react real quickly. Round two underway. All right, next round is underway, and man, is that guy hard to submit. It looked like it was close, but close doesn't work in MMA. Almost doesn't count. And for as close as he was, he didn't get the job done. And again, that is because he's so good at defending submission. If you're going to be a wrestler, if you're going to be a guy that engages a lot of the crowd, you've got to be able to de defend submission. Yeah, he's in half guard here. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Nickel. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it in his head. Oh, he escapes! He got out! He, wow, that is great submission defense. Nickel gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Big shot lands for both guys. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, and yet another one landed there by oh, Two strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, 
that will finish the fight. Oh. Some more dominant position with the underhook. He is gonna start to drive knees over and over. You gotta be careful here. You gotta move right on the button. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot. And get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Oh, he reversed position there on the ground, and he's now in the dominant position. Great defense by this fighter. He's work, I'll stand it up. Work. Wow, he actually reversed the position, but he didn't stop there. He took uh, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. That was a slick transition. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Fight. Unable to connect it. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. And they separate after exiting the punch. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. Man, his hips should have been tested early. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, nice jab there by Sean Strickland. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Swing and a miss on, by Nickel. Up, Takedown defense holds up. Nice uppercut. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now what's on him? Continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, nice job landing that knee strike. Another knee by Nickel. Good run. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Lands for the body there. Now his opponent in a hole of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, big left. 
so pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you like. So get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Nichols in half goal. Now he's going full mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. He's having his way with him here. Changing the position. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nickel. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. I know you've got a huge appreciation for this. Oh, I mean, this is this is high-level grappling by both of these guys. In the half guard. Nichols back in full mount. Great job landing from the top position. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Tight submission locked in. Darshow seems to be very close to being finished. He cannot get excited. Great submission defense on full it's display worked. by the opponent. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Strickland's cheek looks like it's cut here. Starting to bleed a little bit now. Another big kick out. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Sean Strickland. Oh, right into Mount. Under two minutes to go in round three. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Side control now. Nichols right back to the full mount. Oh, good defense, yes. So the crowd absolutely loving it as these fighters work their way back to the feet. The fighters are back to their feet now, and they can take in the applause because they deserve it after that grappling exchange. So wisely, he continues to attack that area that is cut wide open. When you were fighting, was that something you would do? You see a cut, try to oh, attack it? It's like a target. Yeah. I mean, you want to get your hands on that cut. You want to punch him in it. You want to elbow him in it. Anytime you see your work paying off, you go down the path. Look how excited you just got talking about punching a dude who's already wide open. Like, you got really excited. It is, right? And I'm old now. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. All right, hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flip him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nickel. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. 
both were hurt, both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent's staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl, several moments on both sides, and fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue to pass and really try and finish this fight. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing went. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Strickland's definitely targeting that same eye over and over again, and why would you not? You've already caused damage there. Continue. Oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, slams his opponent to the ground. Beautiful technique on the straight line. He's got to hurt. He's got to start looking for the finish. This man is landing through the ground. Dean steps in. Holy smokes. What a fight. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's going to be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 56 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO, Sean Strickland! Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win.